Okay guys, let me show you guys what we're gonna need for the black eyed peas. Um, don't judge me. Hey, I had to do what I had to do. That's what happened when you do stuff last minute. <laughs> my son tried to have me after I got my stuff. Mom, can you pick me up some black eyed peas? So, and I went to so many stores, they had no dry black eyed peas. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be honest. Hey, sometimes I use the dry bag and sometimes I get this frozen bag. So I got two of these bags. These are 12 ounces, so. I guess you said I got about 24 ounces of black eyed peas. I probably need more, but hey, just, we're gonna do what we're gonna do. We're gonna figure it out, dug it out, and make it work. Um, now, now, don't get it twisted. What I'm about to do, you can definitely use dry peas. I've done it all the time. I, sometimes I use the dry, sometimes I use the frozen. All right, I have a red onion. You can use a yellow if you like. Some garlic, fresh cut. I don't do all that jar stuff. And I got a red bell pepper. You can use green or whatever color you want. I also have, I like mine kind of meaty, so I got this big old smoked turkey drumstick. I'm about to get this on now because this is going to take a couple hours to get tender. Um, um, I'm going to use what this boils in um, for part of um, my liquid, but if I need any extra liquid, I have some low sodium chicken broth, and this is going to be some basic, basic seasons. I have some um, salt and pepper, uh, seasoned salt and parsley. I have some paprika around here somewhere. And maybe I might put a little bit of onion and garlic powder and that's about it I don't know if I'm gonna throw a bay leaf in there we'll see we're just gonna play it by ear and um, this is off this is optional I always put a little okra in my in my black eyed peas so uh, I'll show you guys how I put this together let me get the smoked turkey on real quick okay guys so I have my uh, smoked smoked turkey drumstick in my pot I filled up with it's big. It's taking up this whole pot. I could barely get it down up in there. Anyway, I filled up as much water as I could to cover it. And I'm just going to put a little salt in the water. Um, by the way, you can use any type of smoked meat you want. Smoked turkey. Um, um, these like the drumsticks, the wings, smoked turkey wings, smoked turkey necks, smoked turkey tails. Or you can use ham hocks or some other kind of smoked meat or whatever. You know, it's up to you. This is just what I use. I'm going to put a little pepper. And I'm just going to let this boil. Now this is going to take like a couple hours to get tender. So I'm going to be working on other stuff because I'm like pretty much in a kitchen multitasking. Anyway. So anyway, I'm just going to let this go until it gets pretty much tender. Get ready to start to fall off the bone. That's the plan. So, And I will be back again. Remember um, what I said about the black eyed peas. Um, if you want to use the dry, fine frozen. I mean, some people probably even use can. I don't know if I go that route, but you know, I guess if you need to get your black eyed peas in, you gotta do what you gotta do. But anyway, we'll be back with the next step when this is tender. Mm -hmm. By the way, I wanted to mention I pulled out a new baby today. Um, I had two Dutch ovens. I had a red one and a purple one. I ended up getting my red one to my eye. I had my purple one and somebody messed up the bottom of it. I swear. I don't know who did it, but I'm very pissed off because I've been had this white one. Beautiful. Sitting in the box waiting to do an unboxing on it. And it's just been sitting there for a while since last year. It's been there for a minute. But I, I was waiting to use it for something really special. But oh well. So I had to pull it out today because I needed a Dutch oven. I meant to go buy another one before the holiday. and never got around. But this is my beautiful white one. It's beautiful. Yeah. But, you know, hey, I guess I just had to put it to use. And I'm going to go pick up maybe one or two more when I get a chance. All right. But yeah, we still waiting on that smoked turkey to come to a boil and, you know, get tender and do its thing. Okay, y'all, so this uh, smoked turkey been boiling and it's tender. You see it's starting to come off the bone. So what I'm about to do is pretty much kind of debone this. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and add the black eyed peas. So I'll be back. I'm sure I don't want to bore you guys with that. As you guys see, it's coming off the bone. So I'm going to take this bone off out of here. Plus these little bones. I have a lot of these small skinny bones in there. I don't want nobody to... Even on my babies, they're not going to eat this. They're very picky. Just us grown folks are going to eat it. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to take debone this um, smoked turkey. And then I'll be back with the next step, okay? So we're back. We got all the meat off the bone, the smoked turkey. Now I'm about to add my black and black eyed peas in. Like I said, I got two 12 ounce bags. They're frozen. Don't come for me because they still going to be better than yours. Nah, I'm just that. Nah. 
I'm gonna burn the flavor, trust me, they're gonna be good. I've done it before, fry and frozen. Alright, I got that in there. So I got the black eyed peas in here. Now let me get my aromatic. I got the red onion. I'm just gonna split it up between the two. I got some real bell pepper. I had an orange one, but I decided not to cut that and just stick with this. You could use whatever time you want to make a mess. You know what I'm doing? It's really what I'm doing. Oh, this one. Uh, and I got a couple of bay leaves. One bay leaf is going to go for one dish and one's going to go for the other one. So, just in case you're wondering. And the, the snap beans and uh, so these black eyed peas are not going to put that on. So, trying to extract as much flavor or add as many layers of flavor as I can. So I just came in with some salt and pepper. And I got the bay leaves in there as well as you see. Trying to extract the flavors out of this. I'm starting to smell it, so I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic in a second here. Okay, and so now I'm adding my fresh chopped garlic in here. I guess I'm splitting this up for two meals. Put it in dishes, so don't trip. Um, how much you put is pretty much up to you. Uh, you know. Let this come back up. Good boy. Okay. I just moved it to the back burner so I can saute those bits. Like I said, I'm dealing with a limited amount of space, small stove. So, so that's too much. So I'm going to take half of this and one of these bay leaves, and half of this mixture. Okay. And the other half is going to be for my snack beans that I'm taking today as well. You can see that during the process. Okay, so I got my black eyed peas in there. So this is my aromatic. Now, so I have the liquid from the smoked turkey. I have some low sodium chicken broth on hand just in case I need it. I don't think I'm going to need it. Now I'm going to go in with some seasoning sauce from Lari. And like I say, I don't, I'm not really much of a measurer. I pretty much eyeball my food. I cook by sight and just by smell and by taste. <laughs> pretty much. Let me put a little parsley. These aren't going to take very long. Probably like 10, 15 minutes. Look, now we will see. And let me get some paprika. Paprika. Here's a little paprika. I got uh, sea salt, black pepper. Here's a little, little bit of... Echo, stop. My timer is time for me to base my prime rib. Got a little bit of garlic powder. And um, I had a little bit of salt. Okay. So... Can you pull out my bag over? So I won't forget. You know me, I'll forget. I'm going to let this go for about five minutes and then I'm going to check it. Then I'm going to get ready to add my next ingredient. Like I say, I'm going to taste it also. I'm going to check it for tenderness. I'm going to taste it for flavor. And if I need to, I can add a chicken bouillon cube. Uh, if I need more liquid, I can add my low sodium chicken broth. So I'm going to let this go for a little while, and I'll be back and check it in a minute. Okay, I'm just, uh, we're testing it, checking it for um, flavor and tenderness. Mm -hmm. Look, my daughter gave me a thumb cup. You know what? Mm-hmm. They're definitely tender. 
Because you know what? No, I gotta tell you, you want some black eyed peas quick? Give me a knife. Kitchen shares over here. Got me out here looking ratchet. Do the frozen over the the dry because these are much quicker and uh, you can get your black eyed peas much quicker. <laughs> you can eat them faster. I'm gonna add a little bit of okra, which is gonna add some um uh, it's going to kind of thicken, which they don't really need, if you can see, if you guys can see inside. I'm going to add, uh, actually, the flavor is good, it's on point. Um, I'm going to add some more of that. Give me that low soda and chicken, bro. I'm going to add some more. I didn't add any at all. <laughs> I'm about to add some right now, though. I should have put my okra in sooner. But anyway. Let me add this in now. They're pretty much done. And they have a lot of flavor. Their flavor is pretty good. That flavor is really good, actually. But I like okra in mine. Now, like I said, the okra is definitely optional. The only thing that took long on this meal, I mean, for this dish, the only thing that took the longest was cooking that smoked turkey down <laughs> till it got tender. That was it. Yeah, add a little more liquid. Yeah. Like I said, I'm pretty much eyeballing it. If you need more liquid, add it. If I needed more flavor without the liquid, I would have probably just added a chicken cube and more seasoning. Okay, again, flavor is good and everything. What I'm doing now is I'm going to let this, um, the okra get a little tender. And uh, like I said, that's totally optional, but that's how I like mine. I really want to add some more. I want y'all to be able to judge me now. No, but it's good. It's really good. I'm going to need a lot of okra. Just a little something, something. A little something extra for me. I love okra and my black eyed peas. I don't know about y'all, but I do. I love it. I think that's good on liquid, but let me add just a little bit more because I want to make sure I have enough liquid to get these in and I don't want my black eyed peas to go too long because they're like, seriously, they're really done. I mean, they are so tender and these are so quick. And you know, they pretty much freeze them at the peak of freshness anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, but you know, trust me, you can use the same recipe do the exact same thing with dry beans. It's just, I mean, dry black, dry peas, it's just gonna cook longer, that's all. Anyway, so I'm gonna let this cook a little longer. Let my, um, my, um, okra, you know, get a little tender. I should've added in a little sooner. Anyway, and I'll be back, you guys. All right, y'all. And you know, another thing, once you put that okra in there, definitely check it to make sure it's not sticking to the bottom. So that okra will do it for you. Anyway. I believe these are done because I, what I'm going to do is at this point put the lid on there and they're going to continue, you know, the pot is hot so the okra will continue to cook. Uh, they normally I do the dry, but I have done frozen before so it's not the first time for me doing it with the frozen one. So, you know, this is not hard to do and, you know, if, you know, pretty much when you're in the kitchen that's why it's hard for me to tell you guys measurements because I don't really measure. I, like I said, I go by sight, smell, and taste. And just, you know, my experience. So, unless you're a new cook, if you're a new cook, this would be a good way to try them. Close them and they're done in no time if you like black eyed peas. Or, you know, you like just veggies, period, or, you know, stuff like that. Um, like I said, this is done. I didn't have to do nothing but what you guys thought that I did. And it, it has like a little, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll probably, don't laugh at my other thing, y'all. Let me get it in here. See this? See, it's like... The sauce has a little thickness to it. Actually, let me taste them again for flavor. I don't shouldn't have those. All I did was add some low sodium chicken broth. Give me another spoon. I'm going to turn them down even lower. These are done. These are a done dotter, y'all. Y'all see all this meat up in there? Black eye peas and meat and over. You know? Anyway, you guys can see these are done. I can take that bay leaf off. I'm just out, man. They be like, you know, cold is gonna take the bay leaf off, remove all. I don't even be doing all that, am I? Like, so yeah, I mean, you can see that bay leaf here. But I might take it out just so y'all won't drag me. But yeah, it's all good. These black eyed peas are good. They're done. They're ready. And it didn't take no time. Well, the smoked turkey took all day to get tender. Now, now the smoked turkey took a few hours to get done tender, but there it is. There. Best black eyed peas right there. These are these are official, okay? These are definitely official, like a referee's whistle, and they hitting y'all. I'm telling y'all, they hitting flavor, everything, hitting on all levels. 
there's levels to this. You know, if you're a beginner cook, you know, just keep, when you're in the kitchen, I just go in there and finesse it. You know, you can't be afraid of the kitchen. You just gotta go in there and make, make it happen. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, I'm gonna serve these up. You can serve these over rice or rice or cornbread. A lot of stuff. So, yeah, here they go right here. I'm gonna get my lap, my ladle out. I'm gonna get my ladle out. See all that meat up in there? We about to go through these, yeah. Y'all see that? Sorry, I had y'all saw me with that plastic spoon earlier, but hey, hey, I'm not doing a lot of dishes tonight. <laughs> anyway, that's my black eyed peas. They're easy. I'm not gonna say quick. Well, the black eyed peas part with the the meat that I used, the smoked turkey wasn't quick. But if you put that on early, you ain't got nothing to worry about. I even put it in my pressure cooker one day, and it took like 45 minutes to get tender. So, anyway, they're easy. And they're delicious. Uh, don't forget, give this video. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment. And, um, you know, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you, I would love it if you guys would share this video. Get me out there, y'all. Trying to get out there. The great. And I'll come back later and maybe do a dry, a dry uh, bag one. As you're going to see, it's going to be pretty much just the same. It's about the flavors that you bring, you know? All right. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.